Hey everyone, how's it going? So this video will focus on those that are shopping for an EV or considering an EV specifically with Tesla, how life is like with a daily commute and if you are low on electric in the morning which most potential EV buyers are concerned about with Tesla you do have a supercharging network so if you happen to forget to charge your vehicle the night before or if you're heading out on a long road trip with Tesla you have the network of supercharging where you can get a quick 15 to 30 minute charge and be on your way versus other EV without a charging network relying on any level 2 will take a few hours for the same amount of range so here I'm just picking up some charge at a nearby supercharging before I head on a business trip um, down south which will take over a um, couple hundred miles round trip so I do need some charge because I didn't charge the night before so here just getting some quick charge and we'll be on our way and I'll demonstrate how it's like to use navigate on autopilot if you have that option how easy it is and how flawless it is with the latest firmware update in 2019.8.5 so here we're approaching a highway and the moment I hit the on-ramp I will just give you a first person view which is where the camera is placed on how it's like with navigate on autopilot engaged right now and no confirmation for lane change so this will require minimum input from the driver all you need to do is just place your hand on the steering wheel to show that you are paying attention so here I am not making any input to the acceleration or the braking or even the lane change it's doing everything on its own so there we just speed up from the on-ramp and it switched lane before that lane became the exit and we will be entering a interchange shortly so I did set the speed to 75 miles per hour uh, this is typically the cruising speed on this highway <laughs> So again, very smooth, very easy to navigate on autopilot without any concern. Lane change, even on tight um, traffic, which means there's um, lots of vehicle on the highway. In this case, there's only a few vehicle, but it works really well. It doesn't panic brake or over accelerate. Um, sometimes you do have to modulate the accelerator uh, just to make sure you're not cutting anyone off because with Mat Max it will try to figure out which is the fast lane to be in to get around traffic and it does take lane change more frequently if you have the setting to Mat Max versus normal or low So again, for demonstration, I'm trying not to touch the steering wheel unless it's trying to ask me to make sure I'm paying attention before it makes a lane change for demonstration only. Uh, currently, Tesla Beta uh, cautions you to make sure your hands are always on the steering wheel before they roll out the next level of autopilot um, software to give it more of a self-driving capability. And hopefully you enjoy the rest of the video. Again, this is a first person view for those considering an EV, specifically for Tesla, how it's like to own a vehicle of such and what it's like to have navigate on autopilot, how easy it is to get to your destination. Again, if this video has helped you determine to purchase a Tesla Model 3 S or X, consider using the refer program code in the description of this video. If you order through that link or give that to the sales associate, then you will get unlimited supercharging of up to a thousand miles um, that's a limited time only i don't know when tesla will take that away but that could happen anytime in the near future and again we appreciate your 
uh, viewing of this video and appreciate if you will use that referral code. Well, thank you in advance. Take care and enjoy the rest of the video.